there and welcome to my showcase. I'm Denny Bonet and this is my Folk Unlocked showcase for the Folk Alliance International. How's everybody tonight? Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm not going to be responding a whole lot to people in the comments over on YouTube. Uh, so just so you know, that doesn't mean I don't love and adore you. But I am going to be uh, playing some songs and telling some stories and just being myself, you know, we have a saying uh, in my old band, it used to be, we play what we play, you dance if you're able. So that's what I do. And I am going to do just that for you guys. So um, anyway, I, I'm sure my neighbors here in my apartment uh, building here in New York City are going to love this because it's later than I usually play. Um, and I tend to stomp a little bit, but that's because I'm having fun. So I hope that you will too. Um, so here we go. I'm going to play some songs uh, from my new CD. And this first one, um, I don't know. We've got a couple of different names that we're tossing around for it. I'm not sure yet. Um, so if anyone has a brilliant idea of what we should call this first song, um, let me know. And if it's better than the one I'm already thinking of, then maybe I'll go for it. Maybe I won't. That's my prerogative, as they say. But right now, here it goes. Yeah. 
those suggestions of those names of that song. All righty. Once again, this is the Folk Alliance Showcase um, number one. I got another one tomorrow night. Um, and I'm going to play a full hour tomorrow night at 730. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, right now, I'm going to do a song now once I take a little drink, because that's what we do. We hydrate here. All right. Um, this next song is also going to be on my new CD. And um, it's a song about people always wondering, why does all the good stuff happen to everybody else? And why not me? So <laughs> look it, as far as I'm concerned, why not you? So that's why we wrote this song. And, um, and it goes out to anybody who ever, ever thinks that. More than anything, I say it too. I say that all the time. I say, why not me? Why not? Why, why can everybody else get, get all the good? Why could everybody else get the good luck? Why not me? So um, what I'm hoping is that I can put out this CD, exactly, put out this CD and sell it to the New York State Lottery. And then, then I'll get a whole lot of money and then I can pay for the rest of the record. It'll be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Do we still call them records? Albums, records, whatever we call it. Um, CDs. We don't call them CDs anymore. Who has a CD player? Raise your hand. I don't know. Um, anywho, this is a song called Why Not You. It goes out to all of you guys who are thinking that thought right now.
why not? <laughs> well, uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you a little story. Um, so I used to play on a show on National Public Radio, on American Public Radio, called Mountain Stage, and I'm sure that some of you uh, Folk Alliance people are very well familiar with that show. And I did that show for many, many years. Um, I was part of the house band, and um, I had a duo with a woman named Julie Adams, and she and I were the fabulous Twister Sisters on there. And we got to play with everybody and their brother. We played with Warren Zevon. We played with, um, oh, God, who did we play with? Um, just, it was a list. It's like a list this long of people that, you know, that I got a chance. R.E.M., Sarah McLaughlin, all these people. I met them doing that show. Um, so here, here is, here's the proof that I played on the show. That is me on Mountain Stage. Not kidding. Check out the hair. I look great in black and white, right? Okay, so here I'll show it to you again. That was me on Mountain Stage. Okay, you got it twice. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So anyhow, um, you know, th I just want to tell you, back when I did that show, it was a little stressful because we did live radio and we had this saying, it's live radio, it's supposed to be spontaneous. So what would happen is that, um, I would have these nightmares. I would go to bed at night and I would have these dreams because while we were doing the show, um, we were always like last minute in the basement half, after having rehearsed with all these guests or rehearsing our own stuff or the theme song or whatever we had to do. We'd be in the basement and like, you know you had no time. You'd have to get dressed because it was in front of a live audience. And I'm putting on my makeup and I'm putting on my lipstick and I'm like oh, trying to get dressed, trying to get dressed. And I would go to bed at night and have these horrible nightmares about, okay, it, it, it always involved being late, hearing the announcement, Denny, we have five minutes to be on stage live show. And I was naked and I couldn't find my violin. So I'm sure people have had, you know, that's the live thing. When you're playing live, you have that fear all the time that you're naked and you don't know where your instrument is. So, um, <laughs> you know, now, now that we're doing streaming concerts and I've been doing a lot of these concerts and um, I have this regular show with our regular community of people um, that is uh, called Happy Hour Live and I've been doing lots of these and playing for lots of libraries and doing a lot of live streaming stuff. But I get these, these, nightmares now <laughs> that, um, you know, that I'm going to stand in front of my computer and, you know, hit on by accident. And, you know, it's not just the, I don't have pants, but it's more like, you know, I'm in my b blue fuzzy bathrobe and I'm live. And that almost happened once I hit live by accident. Thankfully I was dressed and a good friend of mine called me up and said, do you know that you're on Facebook right now? So anyway, my audience has changed. Now I'll show you, here, here is, here is my, my audience. Here's the Gidget Cam. You're so beautiful. How beautiful you are. Look how beautiful you are. Yeah, that's who listens to me. That, that's, my, that's my live audience. And I have to do this. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we do what we have to do to keep our sanity. Anyhow, um, I'm going to do another song off of the, the new record. Um, this one uh, I wrote with John Cobert, who used to play with John Lennon. So that makes me like this close to the Beatles. And um, it's a song called uh, Love is a Circular Thing. And I hope you like it. We just finished recording it. It's going to be on the new record. It goes like this.
Ah, uh, love, love is a circular thing, isn't it? It certainly is. All right. <laughs> oh, I want to mention real quick, I have a website. See, there's my website. And um, you should go to that website because there's all kinds of cool stuff over on that website. And um, that's how you get in touch with me from that website. It's a great thing. Go there. All right. Um, this next song is from my last CD uh, that was called Bright Shiny Objects. And that was an all instrumental album. It's the only time I've ever done an all instrumental album. And this one I wrote with uh, Richard Barone from the Bongos. And um, <laughs> Richard had, he had just seen a, 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 a thing on, um, it was on public television about Einstein and about Einstein's brain and how they basically had taken Einstein's brain when they, um, the, after he passed away, after he died, okay, I could say died here. Um, <laughs> they took his brain, they cut it up, and they studied it to see how come he was so smart. And, um, and they discovered that Einstein played the, well, they knew he played the violin, but they discovered that there's a place in the brain that correlates to playing the violin. So therefore, me and Einstein, Albert Mann, we're like this. Just like me and the Beatles, we're just like that. So, um, so that's why I have, I have my prop here. I have Einstein here, see? That's Einstein's brain with a plant in it, in case you were wondering what that was. Okay. I got props, you know? I, I can't help it, I got props. Here, my prop. I love that one. That's my favorite prop. <laughs> this is what happens when you're in the room by yourself for too long. You end up with things like the screaming goat. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorites too. Okay, it's nice that I take myself seriously, right? <laughs> but here's a song that's quite serious right now called Einstein's Brain. I hope you like it. <laughs>
you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, um, I just want to mention once again that uh, I do have a website and it is right there. See that website. So go to my website and check it out. DennyBonet.com. And, um, you know, if you go there, I'll give you $5 million to the fourth person who goes there. Okay, maybe I won't do that. I'm lying. I'm lying again. What can I say? Um, <laughs> but, but the crowd went wild. Thank you. Okay, enough of that. All right. So <laughs> I do want to mention that I do these shows all the time on um, YouTube um, for my YouTube channel. And you could also subscribe to my YouTube channel to know when I'm going to be uh, be performing, at least virtually, because hopefully soon we're all going to be going out there and playing live again. Oh, I hope so. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking hopeful. Um, so I'm going to leave you with this song. And, um, and, and I hope you like it. It's from my, I don't know some CD. I can't even say it's my last CD. It's for a few CDs ago. Um, my CD called It's All Good. That's where this one was. And um, this one went viral. This video, if you go on YouTube and look up this video, it went viral. It was crazy. It went insane. It started out at like, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200, 300, 400, and it went nuts. It was going crazy with the views. People were viewing it and it was just going insane. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, all within hours. And then at some point it stopped at about 100,000 and that was when I was informed that all my relatives stopped clicking it. But either way, it did go viral and it was a beautiful thing. So you should check it out because I'm flying in it. So, so here you go. You guys, you're all one in a million here at the Folk Alliance Folk Unlocked Showcase. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs>
I want to do a little toast first before I do this. I do this all the time. It's my, my, it's my thing, okay? And you can join me with this. To all of us, to love, to everyone around the world, to humanity, and to each other. Thank you guys so much, and hopefully we'll see you at my next showcase tomorrow night. Have a great night. Thank you to Folk Alliance. Thank you to everybody who has worked so hard to bring this festival to us all. Cheers. <laughs>